Remarkably, Rishi Sunak was actually cited in the north of England yesterday. I mean, that's where his constituency is, but actually catching a glimpse of him amongst the people he's supposed to represent is incredibly rare. You've got more chance of seeing your nan do a backflip on rollerblades at the local skate park. Yet there he was not actually in Richmond, Yorkshire, his constituency, but an hour and a half down the road in Morecambe, Lancashire. Still, good effort. Perhaps he just got lost on the way to Richmond. Understandable, as there's every chance he's never actually been there before. He turned up in Morecambe as part of the government's nonsense vague levelling up initiative, where they've all been chuntering on about investing in poorer areas of the UK, particularly in the north of England, to make themselves sound a bit more caring, to pander to traditionally red wall voters who turned their backs on Labour and voted conservative at the last election. I wouldn't bank on that happening again, Rishi, mate. Anyway, there he was in Morecambe, where the issue of extremely punitive taxation came up, and he said to the crowd that had assembled to meet him, you're not idiots, you know what's happened. Apparently, the war in Ukraine and the Covid pandemic means he's had to raise taxes to eye-watering levels, impoverishing even those on a middle income. And anyone who doesn't understand that is an idiot. Well, it's all very well accusing other people of being idiots, isn't it? But then, unfortunately, Rishi allowed himself to be filmed in a moving vehicle without a seatbelt on later that same day and is now being investigated by the police, leaving himself open to accusations of idiocy. But that's Sunak's weakness, of course. Hubris. He has an innate sense of superiority. He thinks we're all stupid compared to him. And there's that well-known video of him where he goes to great lengths to set our minds at ease and let us all know that he doesn't know any working class people. God forbid he would associate with anyone who wasn't as rich as him, just in case the poverty and ignorance is contagious. Well, here's the thing, Rishi. Cutting taxes isn't so stupid, is it? We have no obligation to Ukraine. The situation there has nothing to do with us. And yet we seem to be taking a greater role than most nations in bankrolling the conflict. As for the pandemic, you were an integral part of the government that made the catastrophic mistake of locking us all down for two years. So you're really in no position to talk about idiocy. It's very simple. You make tax cuts, you give small businesses room to breathe and grow. You let people spend their own money and in so doing stimulate the economy rather than sinking all of our tax revenue into terminally failing public services staffed by incompetent work shy management. You cut public spending on benefits and in so doing end this culture of long term sick leave from work where people can access as much money just sitting at home and claiming illness as they can if they in fact show up at their jobs. You cut taxes and make this country hospitable to wealth creators, large profitable organisations with proper jobs to offer people, wealthy individuals with money to spend as they see fit, rather than have snatched back off them to toss into a public spending black hole. You backstabbed your way into Downing Street, you have the most tenuous of electoral mandates, and you certainly had no public support for taxing us all into poverty. Nor do British voters and taxpayers wish to see you jetting off all over the world, glad-handing and back-slapping creepy globalists at eco-catastrophizing jamborees in some of the world's most opulent tourist resorts. We're not the idiots you think we are, Rishi. If we were, we'd vote for you at the next election and you're going to have a very rude awakening in that regard. Please do like and subscribe and support my content by following the links below this video. Also, please do check out my return to stand up now available to view on the Comedy Unleashed YouTube channel, a link for which you can also find beneath this video.